Have you ever received feedback that your work is too descriptive, that more analysis is needed, or that you should be more critical? Or, if you want to take your work to the next level, then I think you should check out this video. To many students, critical analysis is one of the scariest words you use at university. But actually, you use it in your daily life. For example, choosing which university to go to, or what you have for lunch. Critical analysis is quite simply questioning the sources that you use in your academic work by using the six critical questions. These are who, what, when, where, how and why. Every day you ask these questions outside of an academic context. For example, for who, you might ask, who is more reliable? In real life, you often do this with newspapers or opinions from friends. In essays, you might think about an author's reliability based on their background. For example, is it written by an academic or is it written by a journalist? For what, you might ask, what do I want to eat tonight? Would you eat healthy food like a salad, for example, or would you eat tasty food like a burger? Or maybe some sweets? In essays, you could ask what is the source. For example, is it from a newspaper article or is it peer-reviewed? For where, you could ask, where will I study? Do I study in the atrium where it's noisy but I can have hot food or do I go to the library where it's quiet? In essays, you could ask where the source is created. For example, does it match the location that you're talking about? For when, you might often ask, when do I go out? Do I go out every day or do I go out once a week so I can see my friends and meet my deadlines as well? For essays, you can ask when the source was made. For example, has anything developed in the area since then? For how, you regularly think, how do I get to university today? Do I take the bus because it's quicker or do I walk for the exercise even if it's going to take longer to get there? In essays you could ask how is the research conducted, or how is this source supported by other sources? All of these questions are supported using the justification question, why? Justification and comparing options are crucial in academic work to take your work to the next level. You should criticise a source, both positively and negatively, and then explain why supporting it potentially with other sources or discrediting it by using other sources. Finally, you should link your answer back to the main overall question. Therefore, to use critical analysis, make sure you're asking the questions who, what, why, where, when and how. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to find a link to a playlist of other videos that might, you might find useful, then check out the description of this video. Also, you'll find in the description a link to the skills guides that will help you with information on each of the topics, which will add some more depth.